uh, back with another session here sorry for delay in second part and you can comment the topic want to be discussed so uh, treatment plan of CTEV the best time to treat CTEV is as soon as possible as soon as you get to know the child is suffering from club foot the best person to start a treatment is doctor doctor manipulate the foot and then apply cast uh, you uh, will ask the mother to manipulate the foot after every feed the foot is dorsiflexed and then everted so here you can see the foot is dorsiflexed and then everted and this pressure should be maintained for about 5 seconds and repeated several times over a period of roughly 5 minutes and important to note the thumb at the calcino cuboid joint uh, there are two methods given for manipulation kites method and sponsory method kite method is not used anymore and sponsory method is the best and still used these are actually two philosophy uh, philosophies for correction there are three major differences between kites and sponsory method what are these first is order of correction and then a site at which program of correction applied and uh, for how many weeks the cast is applied so in uh, in kites method the order of correction is first you will take cavus adduction varus and equinus while in sponsory method you will take adduction and varus together Fulcrum of correction is at calcinocuboid in kites method and in ponsetti method at talar head and this fulcrum of correction is at calcinocuboid uh, at calcinocuboid in kites method and this is known as kites error after correction you will have to apply cast for one week why one week because uh, we will follow ponsetti method not kites method in kites method the cast is applied for two weeks while in ponsetti method it is applied for one week so you will apply cast for one week again remanipulate and go in a same order e then av together then e cast is reapplied for one week more and this is carried on for up to 8 to 9 casts or 8 to 9 weeks till the deformity uh, get corrected but usually it corrected by 8 to 9 casts or weeks cast should go above knee and one for one week in Pond City and two weeks in Kite Matter. If the order of correction is not followed, for example, uh, you corrected cables and then you uh, skip the A and V procedure, uh, A and V part, and go for equinus, and then you corrected erection and then virus. So there is no use of this method, and it will result in a deformity called rocker bottom foot. In which you will get vertical talus. Now coming to operative methods for CTEV, rated is a mnemonic here to learn the operative methods. STR stands for soft tissue release, and S alone stands for shoes and splint. CTEV shoes, CTEV splint, tennis crown splint. A is orthodesis, I is Elizarov's technique. T is tendon transfer and tarsectomy and D is Joyce osteotomy and Dilwyn's Evans procedure. EMSTR is posterior medial soft tissue release. What does the STR stand for? Soft tissue release. So posterior medial soft tissue release. You will have to release soft tissue on posterior side, on medial side and on plantar side. On the posterior side you will have to release cast CF, TF and T by Z plus B. So what is cast? Cast is capsules of ankle and subtalar joint, then cap calcinofibular ligament, then talofibular ligament and then tendoarchalis release by Z plus B. On the medial side you will have to release three tendons, three ligament and three other structure. Three tendons are tibialis posterior, flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus. Three ligaments you will uh, you can learn by the mnemonic SCD spring ligament, talonavicular ligament, and deltoid ligament SPD. Three other structure interosseous talocalcaneal ligament, capsules of navicular cuneiform, 
and cuneiform first metatarsal joint these are of uh, medial side and then on the plantar side you will have three leaf plantar fascia plexa digitorum brevis and adductor hallucis now we will approach uh, according to age the treatment plan so uh, in between child between uh, 0 to 1 year of age we will apply dennis brown splint this is how dennis brown splint look like splint to hold the foot in corrected position used throughout the day before the child starts walking and what after the child starts walk after the child when started walking a dennis brown splint is used at night and ctv shoes during the day so after one year of age in between one to three years of age ctv shoes is used along with dennis brown splint in which ctv shoes is used in a day and dennis brown is used only in night time uh, now ctv shoes have three features and these features are really important which make it special there is no heel in ctv shoes to prevent equinus middle margin straight to prevent cavus little margin raised to prevent inversion and straight inner border to prevent forefoot adduction uh, if child is less than 4 years PMSGR that is posterior medial soft tissue release is done more than 4 years PMSGR plus bony correction is done in between 3 to 5 years of age Dilvin Evans procedure in which you will go for PMSGR on the so medial side middle side soft tissue is released and plus calcino cuboid fusion is done in between 5 to 8 years of age Dryer's osteotomy is performed open wedge osteotomy of calcaneum to correct varus of heel especially to correct varus Dryer's osteotomy is performed between 5 to 8 years to correct varus in which a wedge shaped osteotomy that is bone is removed from here and a bony graft is applied uh, some prefer a closed wedge osteotomy on the lateral side in between 8 to 10 years of age wedge tarsectomy is performed removing the bones of a wedge of uh, removing a wedge of bones from the mid tarsal area in more than 10 years of age we will go for triple orthodesis Triple orthodesis means uh, there, uh, there will be fusion of three joints. You can see here in this image, subtalar joint, talonavicular joint and calcinocuboid joint are fused. If done less than 10 years of age, it will result in pseudoarthrosis. So remember to done triple orthodesis always in more than 10 years of age, in a child more than 10 years of age. So. In the last procedure for correction of CDV is Elizarov technique. Here, lengthening is achieved by external fixation using the external fixator device. Limb lengthening is achieved and then man maintained by using a POP cast. This is Elizarov technique. Thank you.